I'm going to be putting together a circuit for you where I use this integrated circuit. This is a 741 circuit. The, the full name is, is right here, but the only thing you really need to know right now is the 741. And I'm going to use this variable resistor here as one of the inputs. And so when the voltage from this variable resistor is higher, than the voltage to another pin then the output will be on the, uh, the output's going to be an LED the LED will be on and when the uh, voltage from this variable resistor is below the voltage we set on another pin then the output the LED will be turned off now one thing I want to mention when you use these trim pots, these variable resistors on these boards, the pins don't fit in uh, terribly well. They're, they're a little bit larger than the holes. And in this case, when I was putting together this circuit earlier, uh, the pin right here, the one that this one actually is connected to, this jumper cable, that was not connecting to the circuit. And uh, I believe it's because I put it in a uh, pin or in a hole that uh, one of the leads from here was in earlier and it kind of expanded the hole so that now this pin won't fit in there so I moved it down and, and now I'm uh, I'm okay but uh, just wanted to make you aware of that that uh, these things kind of uh, do a little bit of damage to the hole so it's best if you don't move them around too much and uh, I dedicate just this board to using uh, components with odd shaped leads like that for that reason. This sheet I put together has, uh, has the pin layout of uh, the 741 op amp. But uh, in the middle here I included how the schematic normally looks. And uh, these two lines are kind of optional you may or may not see them on the schematic but uh, when it comes to schematics op amps and uh, uh, comparators too but uh, they're they're triangles and uh, they usually have a, a plus and a minus on there but anyways pin 7 here that gets connected to the positive power source and then pin 4 down below gets connected to the negative source and so as you can see here pin 4 down here goes right to negative and then pin 7 up here goes right to positive and now you'll also notice a lot of these pins we are not even using and so uh, we're only using five pins so that helps a little bit when you're using op amps so now moving along uh, pin 3 here down there we have uh, leading up to the trim pot and now I added a couple resistors just to make sure this uh, always has some resistance no matter how much I turn it either way and uh, this is a 50 kilo ohm trim pot and it's set about halfway right now and uh, these are both uh, 4.7 kilo ohm resistors and I'm using all the same value resistors just to, to make the video easier to understand but uh, this is a, a voltage divider and when it's halfway uh, and you got a 9 volt battery then that will equal about uh, 4.5 volts which uh, which it should be set to right now but uh, we can change the voltage if, uh, if we turn it up this way more then the voltage will go up towards uh, whatever the power source is and then if we turn it down then it will uh, have an output of a voltage that's uh, practically zero now on uh, pin 2 here we have the uh, I added two resistors again this is a, a voltage divider now I said this is going to be 9 volts this is actually going to be 18 volts we're going to have two uh, 9 volt batteries in series and uh, so there's going to be 18 volts uh, that this is gonna adjust and then these also now since these are the same value 
they're uh, 4.7 kilo ohms 4700 ohms that means uh, this is going to split it in half and that's going to split it in half since it's the same value so we'll have 9 volts coming to pin 2 so uh, with uh, pin 3 here we adjust this above and below 9 volts to turn the output on and off the output is pin number 6 which is the second pin up over here so now I have a resistor to an LED now this is the long lead of the LED and then the short lead of the LED is down below and we're working positive down towards negative and I have this little uh, jumper here this is going to become our ground this these two rows here are going to be the ground that's where our batteries are going to connect together and this is a uh, uh, split supply type integrated circuit so you need uh, two power sources that uh, connect together and where they connect together is the ground and I will show you that next so I'm starting off with this 9 volt battery as I said we gotta add another 9 volt battery and the negative is plugged into the negative power rail which is also connected to this uh, negative power rail and then the uh, positive comes to this row which I said before is the ground so now we add the other battery now the positive is connected to the power rail and the negative is connected to our ground and here on this sheet I showed how the little symbol the plus over minus this uh, you'll usually see on uh, like data sheets and stuff when you need a split power supply and it should also say like split but uh, if you only need one battery such as with like the 555 timer then it should just say you know single and uh, stuff will just be identified with either a plus or a minus so since this has a positive connected to the power rail and then negative connected to the ground that means that it can send a positive charge through the circuit and then it can come to the ground and then go back to negative so that means this battery can uh, give parts of the circuit a positive charge whereas this battery the negative is connected to the power rail so negative can come through to uh, the ground and then to positive and then so that can give the this battery can give the uh, circuit a negative 9 volt charge but also since the negative this battery is connected to the positive of that battery this can also give parts of the circuit 18 volts so now for the uh, point of this circuit as I said this is a comparator and so we got two pins pin uh, 2 and pin 3 and they both have uh, voltage dividers headed to them and so this one that I'm about to adjust heads to pin 3 right now this is giving more voltage than uh, this one but uh, when I turn this down towards the integrated circuit that heads more towards the negative now so now this one's giving less voltage this one's giving more and so the output is off the LED is off but when this one gives more voltage I'll turn it up then it turns on and it's uh, that simple and as you can see it's an easy uh, circuit to put together it's just a split power supply and output and uh, two inputs which are voltage dividers in this case so it's a good uh, circuit to put together to to get used to the 741 chip